The Redmi K20 and Redmi K20 Pro are awesome devices, but with a two week wait before you can go ahead and load any custom ROMs on it, we're gonna have to use it with the China specific ROM for a while. One of the best ways to make the device more enjoyable to use is to de-bloat a lot of the stock apps that Xiaomi puts on it. And today we're gonna to talk about how to do that. Hi, my name is Mitchell. If you're new to my channel, I make videos about the tech I use. Before we start talking about de-bloating the Redmi K20 Pro, I wanna thank everyone that uses my affiliate links. Without your continued support, I wouldn't be able to make videos. Also, if you're not part of my Telegram community, you should definitely join. It's one of the best tech communities on the internet. Also, I'm gonna have links to the resources for all this stuff in the description down below. Okay, enough talking and let's just jump into this. So the first and kind of most important step before we go ahead and even get on the computer is we need to enable USB debugging. And to do that, you're gonna go into settings, my device, all specs. You're gonna to need to click the MIUI version until you unlock the developer options. Once you do that, we're gonna go into additional settings, developer options, USB debugging. As you can see, I've already allowed USB debugging. Okay, so the first thing that you're gonna to need to do on the computer is download the Xiaomi ADB Fast Boot Tools. I'm gonna to have a link to that in the description down below. Now, once you've done that, you're gonna go ahead and extract that package and that zip. Place it anywhere that you would like. Uh, I just happen to have a desktop specific for this. I just happen to have already done this for all my other devices. You're gonna click on the fast boot tools. Now you will need to have Java installed. And once you plug it into the computer, it will have a pop-up on your phone that says allow USB debugging. You're gonna click allow USB debugging. And now once on our computer, we have a whole host of tools. Now specifically, what I'm going to be uninstalling is analytics, app vault, browser, I'm gonna uninstall the Xiaomi calendar, the Xiaomi cleaner, uh, the Xiaomi clock, as I do prefer the Google clock. I'm gonna uninstall the feedback, the FM radio, because I don't ever really need that. Me AI, which is the kind of silly me uh, voice assistant that's only available in Chinese. Me credit, me video. Me Wallet, Me Music, Me Notes, because I don't ever use the notes. I'm gonna keep the recorder, the scanner, and the screen recorder, as those are all things that usually work pretty well. I'm gonna uninstall the search, uninstall Xiaomi VIP account, uninstall the yellow pages, and that's pretty much it. We're gonna click uninstall, Now, what can happen is if you are trying to uninstall things that it won't allow you to uninstall, you can get this whole process hung up. So as you see here, uh, apparently me trying to uninstall uh, the clock application in this specific version of it uh, has basically um, forced the application to freeze. All we need to do to correct this, unplug it, close the tool, plug your phone back in, open up the tool again. And then it should pop up for us. Now, was it the cleaner? Now, as you guys can see, the cleaner application is ultimately what was holding us up. Again, unplug the device, plug it in, restart the tools, and then you can just go back to uninstalling all the other services that you don't want. Okay, now as you guys can see, we have our Redmi K20 Pro pretty much fully debloated of any and all China specific apps that it came pre-installed with. 
and essentially um, it's about as stripped down as we can get with the China specific firmware. There really isn't any way for us to go ahead and load the global firmware on without unlocking the bootloader and going through a custom recovery. But if you guys wanna see more videos about the Redmi K20 or about how I set up my other Xiaomi devices, like the Xiaomi Mi 9 or the Pocophone F1, go ahead and click or tap right here on the screen to a playlist. If you guys wanna see videos about other products I have, like the Xiaomi Redmi Air Dots, go ahead and click or tap right over here. If you guys wanna make sure that you see all the upcoming content on my channel, hit that subscribe button. And if you're curious about what life is like here in Vietnam, go ahead and click this other subscribe for my other YouTube channel. And until next time, it's been Mitchell and I'll see you soon.